Hey, what's good YouTube? In this video, I'll be talking about the five most important lessons that school did not teach me. Now in this video, I'm not gonna be disparaging uh, going to school or going to college because in all actuality, like I'm somebody who went basically all the way through higher education. Um, I have my master's of business administration, which is essentially like the terminal degree in my field of study. Um, I was so thankful for the privilege to even be able to go to both undergraduate college and also go to grad school as well. And college presented me with so many life-changing opportunities. Like, as a matter of fact, like the fact that I was able to study abroad, not once, but twice in undergrad, they're probably two of the most foundational life experiences that I've had to date. And I got to meet so many amazing people. I got to build my social skills and going to college or university, however you want to uh, name it, is a very, very important thing to do, especially if you're going into a certain field of study where you need that higher education. You know, whether you're going to be a doctor, a lawyer, or somebody with specialized training, like going to uh, college, going to school is super important. Now, for somebody like me who is an entrepreneur, um, you know, it's, it's a great area because you, you learn those entrepreneurial skills along the way. Because what's most important as an entrepreneur is that you have a monetizable skill, product, or service that you can sell to people. But without further ado, like I just want to give you the five main uh, life lessons that college or going to school did not teach me. So let's get started. Now the first life lesson school did not teach me was financial literacy. And this is super important because like once you graduate from high school, undergrad or graduate school, like you're immediately gonna find yourself in the job force. And aside from that, like you might even have a lot of student loan debt on top of that as well. And one of the things school never taught me was like how to manage uh, my finances. Like nothing was ever talked about uh, taxes. Nothing was talked about about balancing my accounts. Nothing was talked about savings, investings, paying off debt, et cetera, et cetera. And like, this is a very, very dangerous thing not to learn because like I said, once you get out of school, it's immediately into the workforce and you're gonna start to be getting paid, but you're also gonna have these things that you're gonna have to pay off like your student loans like your rent, uh, like your car note, or like other expenses as well. And so like not being taught financial literacy in school, it isn't a good thing. But that's like the first thing that school didn't teach me. So let's get on to the second life lesson that school didn't teach me. The second lesson, life lesson that school did not teach me, and this builds on top of the first life lesson, is that debt really, really compounds quickly. Like I can't emphasize this enough that if you're somebody who took out student loans or financial aid, like the moment you get out of school, like those payments start. And if you're like me and you went into the Peace Corps and you found a program that deferred your student loans, um, it was actually kind of a little bit deceptive because I had thought that in deferment that my student loans would just be frozen. But in all actuality, the interest kept creeping up. And so when that deferment period uh, dissipated, a ton of interest had accumulated. And this is probably like the number one thing that really crushes a uh, new student graduates is the fact that like these interest payments are so high that, you know, after five or 10 years of, of low payments, that you might even not even um, address the principal and like the payments are still gonna be at a high level. So that's the second thing a school did not teach me is just like how, fat, how fast <laughs> debt can compound. So that's with anything in life. So one of the things you really wanna understand is you have to lower your debts and, and try to increase your income as much as possible. But that's the second life lesson school did not teach me is that debt compounds really, really quickly. The third life lesson that school did not teach me um, was that your careers, they're not fixed. So you might have gone to school, you might have had a major, and that major might have been, let's say, business. But then after you graduate, your first job that you might get has nothing to do with business or the degree that you, that you studied. And it, it does happen to a lot of people. 
And so this is one of the things that um, I learned very quickly is that your career is what you make it to be. And as long as you're bringing value, um, you're, you're making the work environment a better place, you're making your, your customers or employers uh, more money, like that's really the only thing you need to know. Um, you're, you're not going to be locked into one trajectory, uh, especially now because the work environment is changing at such a rapid pace. Technology is replacing people. It's, it's helping to streamline jobs. And so like actually the more creative you can be, the better positioned uh, you will be in the future. So just understand that like if you studied something, you might not wind up working in that specific career field for your whole entire career. So your career is not going to be fixed and that's one thing school really doesn't uh, doesn't teach you the fourth lesson or life lesson that school did not teach me is that meritocracy is a fallacy so for those of you who don't understand what meritocracy is or what it means it's basically a theory that the hardest working people um, get the best opportunities or it's the theory that the cream always rises to the top. And in all actuality, like once you leave uh, the college world or the university world, like you're gonna enter into this thing called the real world. And the real world is human made. And so what that really means is that like, people are gonna do whatever they're going to do. And you'll find out quickly at your jobs or in your occupation is that the hardest working people don't always get the job, they don't always get the promotion. It might be the best looking person, the best connected person, it might be the uh, a relative of the boss. Like, like there's so many reasons why people are gonna elevate in their careers and hardest working uh, may not be one of them. And so just understand that, like this is a human made world. Uh, people don't always follow these these golden rules that you've been taught, but yeah, but meritocracy is a big fallacy, and like there's been many reasons where I didn't get jobs, even though I was more qualified than the person who was interviewing me. So like there are a lot of different variables that come into play, but just understand that um, you know meritocracy is a fallacy, and that's something that school did not teach me. And last but not least, the fifth life lesson that school did not teach me uh, was that networks are everything. And this really builds on top of uh, point number four that I just made. And it's really, really important to understand that like when you're in school, you need to be building up your networks and your, and your connections as much as possible. Because as I said before, this is a human made world. And the people who know you are the people that can elevate you. And there's people who aren't talented, who aren't that intelligent, who don't have many skills, but because they're very, very connected or they might come from a certain brand or a certain school or they have a certain backing to them, um, they're gonna get elevated quicker than those who do not have those same luxuries. And so if you're ever short on resources, that means you're short on people. So do your best to create genuine, mutually value adding relationships uh, while you're in school. Build up your network as much as possible because you never know who you're going to call on in the future or who's going to call on you to help them. So just understand that like build up your network as much as possible. Don't try to do everything yourself and you'll be able to leverage those connections and those relationships in the future. So in sum, like going to school, getting your degree, getting your graduate degree, wherever it shall be, is super, super value adding. But just understand that like college is a bubble and it's not the end all be all when it comes to your education. As a matter of fact, like your real education really starts once you graduate and you get out to the real world. Now, I'm not disparaging school. School is one of the best things I could have ever done. I would not be here in life if I didn't attend school, if I didn't go to college, if I didn't go to grad school. But as I've mentioned before, there are things that school are just not going to teach you. And so videos like this are really going to help you to build up some of that additional wisdom that won't be given to you by your professors, by your teachers, or by your friends that you currently have while you're in school. So I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video and I just really want to instill that like you got to be a life learner and never stop learning once you get out of school. The learning has just really begun. So my question for you today is this, what are some of the life lessons that school did not teach you? 
I'm really curious to hear your thoughts, so please be sure to drop your comments below. Furthermore, also be sure to click subscribe so that you can stay tuned for whenever new content is dropped on this channel. And also, please be sure to click the notification bell to be notified for whenever new content drops. Until next time.